it's it's um, it's amazing. Even though we're in you know the total shadow, right. here, it's there's still the corona is still pretty bright. It's incredibly you, bright. You could read by the light of the corona. <laughs> I think I would have some <laughs> trouble reading, but I probably could. I could technically read something. <laughs> so Eric. Oh, and actually, we have the International Space Station flying over right now. So they are actually seeing not one, but two views of the eclipse. They're able to see not just the moon passing in front of the sun, but they're also able to see the shadow of the moon passing over Earth, which is absolutely incredible. I mean, I can hardly imagine a view being better than the one we have right now. But if there is one, well, it's, it's yeah, probably on the space station. It's from yeah. the space station for sure. <laughs> Wow. So, yes, they're able to take some pictures of that. Um, and that is just incredible. Just incredible. Our robot overlords. Are... Of course. And so, <laughs> Eric, I know that, I mean, clearly with the drones, people are starting to get involved in the eclipse. And I know that there are lots of ways that people can actually get involved. Mm -hmm. One of those ways is with citizen science. Right.